Tampa Bay Buccaneers signed Julio Jones to a one-year deal. So Julio Jones, it's surprising to me. He's been a free agent this far into the offseason here. Right now, he finally signs. His training camps are opening up this week here. Is Julio Jones with the Bucs. And this Buck receiving core, it's a pretty deep one, no doubt about it. With Chris Godwin, even though he's coming off the MCO injury. Mike Evans, Russell Gage, who they signed from the Falcons. And now Julio Jones here gets to play with Tom Brady. So Julio Jones, we know he's one of the best receivers to ever do it here as the seven-time Pro Bowler. But over the last few seasons, injuries and production have been weighed down for Julio Jones. So last season, in his only season with the Tennessee Titans, he only played a handful of games, 31 catches, 434 receiving yards and a touchdown on 48 targets so right here he's probably going to be the third or fourth receiver going into the season with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and he's a guy that's not an elite receiver for fantasy football anymore but he's definitely a guy I would take a flyer on in your next month to September drafts here's Julio Jones a guy you probably take in the 12th 13th round to fill out your bench here because it's a low risk high reward type of move with Julio Jones going to the Buccaneers and playing with Tom Brady. So right here, we thought he would go to another team like the Colts or the Jets who need a wide receiver or the Dallas Cowboys. But right here, he just adds more to that wide receiver core in Tampa Bay. And we'll see if Julio could have a bounce back season this year after the last two seasons have been plagued with injuries for the Tampa Bay Bucks and fantasy owners in the upcoming 2022 season.